Hunters have long enjoyed the challenge of pursuing a big buck. For some hunters, the challenges are bigger than others, but the rewards are especially great. 21-year-old Garrett Williamson of western Wisconsin was among the hunters who traveled to the Pine Ridge area of northwestern Nebraska during November's firearm deer season. While some hunters bemoan the weather, rugged terrain, or stubborn game animals, posing the greatest challenge to Garrett is something for which most hunters can't fathom, muscular dystrophy. It's an aggressive illness that continues to take strength from Garrett's arms, legs, and the rest of his body. This hunter hasn't let it get in the way of his passion, however. With help from his father Dave and a wheelchair rigged up with a shooting support, Garrett has killed a black bear along with numerous Wisconsin whitetails and turkeys. He bagged a pronghorn antelope in Wyoming. He's been hunting since age 12 and loves to talk about his time afield, such as this successful crossbow hunt. Actually, it was a few years after the bear, uh, I started bow hunting with a crossbow and there was this, my first buck with it, it was the pretty thrilling to shoot a buck with a bow at such a close yardage. Until last week though, Garrett hadn't hunted one big game species for which the West is known and for which he had been dreaming, the mule deer. After hearing that mule deer had earned a place on Garrett's bucket list, the young man's uncle, Steve Williamson of Omaha, contacted the nearby office of the Game and Parks Commission. Uncle Steve was soon put in touch with Northwest District Wildlife Manager Todd Nordine, who got the ball rolling toward a hunt on some of the best deer hunting property in Sheridan County. Now we started back in the early 90s and uh, bought a place, um, I, I was in my 40s, and bought this place to have something to do when I retired and um, ended up uh, with three, three more, uh, two more parcels and uh, got a total of about uh, uh, 41 or 200 acres uh, that we uh, manage out here for mostly for the wildlife and uh, we do a little bit of farming uh, but most everything goes back into, uh, into the wildlife. Bentley, who hosted the Williamsons in his cabin and even had a wheelchair accessible shooting house constructed for the young hunter to use, said he jumped on the opportunity to help Garrett get a mule deer. The effort was a success. Garrett bagged a beautiful mule deer buck by midday Monday. It's a great hunt. You know. We uh, kind of kind of a surprising hunt. Uh, we uh, got set up to where we were going to hunt and we are on our way back to the cabin to rest up and we had left both are both of my hunting rests that I shoot off my chair with at the bind and you're coming back on this road and they popped up and we followed them and then we got it. Yeah, our, our hunter Garrett has he had uh, uh, authorization from the state to hunt out of a vehicle and um, and watching Garrett work uh, through that was just remarkable it's a lot of courage and uh, and uh, we, we had several times there that Garrett got on the deer and couldn't, uh, couldn't pull the trigger. And uh, that's, how, uh, that's how difficult this is for him. And he ended up, actually ended up shooting the deer with, uh, uh, with both index fingers. That's the only way he could get the trigger pulled. Bentley said the decision to help Garrett was an easy one. And it was just something that we felt like uh, would be a chance maybe to do something for somebody that's had a little tougher time and uh, and what a reward uh, I've, I've hunted uh, I've hunted the world over really I've been to Africa and uh, in Alaska and, and New Zealand and you know, lots and lots of places but you know, we a friend of mine John Clark was with me when this uh, when we got this deer kill today and I I can without reservation say that it was uh, uh, right there among the top wildlife experiences I've ever had. It's awesome. Garrett and his dad say it's a hunt they will always remember. There wasn't a lot of time to relive this special memory, however. The Williamsons were anxious to get back to Wisconsin. We got wait till season starting this Saturday in, in uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, so. We'll we be get, going out for that, Garrett? Yeah, yeah. We got blinds all set up at home already before we came up here, so Very we're, good. we're ready to go. 
As Garrett continues looking forward to the next hunt, those who shared his Nebraska mule deer experience will always enjoy looking back on that day. This is Justin Haig reporting for Nebraska Land Magazine.